Hey guys, it is the 9th of February today. My name is Jess McDonnell and you're tuned in to GameSpot News. It seems that people were pretty keen to buy up Resident Evil HD Remaster. So keen, in fact, that the game is breaking PSN and Capcom sales records. Capcom's remaster of the 2002 remake of the very popular zombie-rific 1996 game is now the fastest-selling digital title in Capcom's history across Western markets, as well as becoming the biggest-selling day one digital title on PlayStation Network. Sony also announced that Resi HD was the top-selling PS3 and PS4 game of January, even though it only came out on the 20th. The very reasonably priced title is only running gamers 20 bucks and is also on Xbox One, 360 and PC. One can only hope that this serves as enough encouragement for Capcom to give Resi 2 the remake treatment as well. Along with buying Resi HD, it seems that more than a few of you spent time in the Battlefield Hardline beta since it's cracked 6 million players. For reference, that's more players than those that were playing the Destiny beta, which maxed out at 4.6 million players, though that was only on consoles. Battlefield Hardline executive producer Steve Paputzitz has expressed his enthusiasm for your interest and asks gamers to keep the feedback coming. The game will be released on March 17 in the US. The beta officially ends today, but the exact time varies by platform and region, so you might be able to squeeze a few more hours in if you haven't had the chance yet. And in crappy news about crappy people, another SWAT team raided a gamer's home during a Twitch stream, thanks to an unknown viewer who trolled both him and emergency services. And some people think that's funny, apparently. The streamer in question was Joshua Peters, who has since sent out a message heartbreakingly explaining how police pointed guns at his little brothers, thanks to the anonymous individual who decided to SWAT his stream. Not only is swatting abhorrent and vile, it's also illegal. While no one has been arrested in regard to this particular case, a 19-year-old faces up to five years in prison, having been charged for instigating numerous swatting incidents in Las Vegas. Let me know down in the comments what you reckon the punishment for swatting should be and why. You can head to GameSpot for news on how to get online multiplayer for free on PS4 and watch my GIST episode for tips on how to kick ass at Evolve. Those are all the things that I wanted to tell you about today. I'll be back same time tomorrow with a bunch more news, so check back with me then.